go. I would call this the first high anticipation hunt of the season. It's October 12th and Connor and I are diving in tonight after the Big Ten that I was after uh, last year and into this year. I wish I could say that I had a good pattern or a good reason to be coming in after him, um, but I don't. He's been pretty sporadic on cameras. I guess my good reason is that we're experiencing a cold front and we had it roll through overnight. And it's actually the first of two cold fronts this week. This is the, I would call it the minor one, about a 10 to 15 degree drop from yesterday's highs. And then uh, we have a, a more dramatic change coming later in the week. But I do know the deer movement was really slow last night. I uh, <clears throat> took Grant to one of, one of the farms that I hunt and filmed him shoot a doe and we didn't even see a deer until and there's a lot of deer on that property we didn't even see one until after sunset so and then they piled out after that but it's just really warm and a slow movement night and I'm hoping that tonight will be the opposite the reason I picked this spot is it's in the general area that I've been seeing this buck a little bit this year I don't think he's fully moved on to the property there's a lot of crops coming out right now though and it's kind of gotten the deer moving a little bit and shifting around and it's a good spot overlooking some clover right here that I mowed about two weeks ago and it looks really good but there's a lot of really good bedding and a lot of thick cover so I'm hoping if they're getting forced out of some of these crop fields uh, they're going to take cover in here and I don't know how the deer are going to move I've never hunted this spot there's a lot of thick cover right here that we're on the edge of a good little draw a bunch of young oaks there's a ton of good native grass bedding out here so it'll be interesting to see how the deer just use this spot in general for future knowledge purposes but uh, I'm excited I, I think tonight is as good of night as any for him to make an appearance through here I did have daylight pictures of him here in late September uh, shortly before I mowed this so it's been a couple weeks but, uh, I know he's around here somewhere. Um, I just, I don't want to miss when he actually does come through in daylight. So I didn't want to wait for trail cam pictures to tell me to jump in. I wanted to um, kind of make the early move, I guess. So we've actually been set up for about an hour and a half just kind of waiting for this wind to die down. It's been like 30 mile an hour gusts all day, uh, bringing in that cooler weather, but it's supposed to die down to almost nothing by the time we're climbing down. So. Hopefully the deer are on their feet, and I'd love to get a glimpse of this big tent. That was pretty funny to watch. I didn't even know raccoons ate acorns. It was super windy and the trees were just swaying everywhere and those three raccoons climbed all the way up to the top of that little oak tree that's loaded with acorns up there and they just went to town on them <laughs> just holding on for dear life and eating as many acorns as they could
Well, that was a fun night. It, uh, it was one of those nights where it felt like at any moment he could step out. Uh, the conditions were perfect. Just a really enjoyable evening. We saw, I don't know, over a dozen deer, uh, just a bunch of does coming in and out of that plot. I could see some off in the distance working their way towards the pit cornfields. Uh, but it's something to keep in mind with, uh, you know, this good time of year coming up, this late October, these bucks are going to start visiting those little doe congregating areas like that. So I, I bet we'll be back in that stand at some point. As I mentioned earlier, we have another cold front coming. So that's another thing to keep in mind too. The conditions looked just exactly the same as what they were tonight. Strong winds all day, northwest, northwest, dying down in the evening, pressure going up. So, you know, if, if you have a, a pattern on a deer or you see that they did something tonight on trail camera, it'd be a good opportunity to go back in after them on Thursday or whenever that cold front hits uh, your area, depending on where you're out in the country. Uh, but conditions look the exact same as tonight. So I'm anxious to see if this buck uh, ended up on any cameras tonight. Uh, I would assume he's on his feet in daylight somewhere. Uh, I just don't know which spot. So. Uh, that's going to be one thing I'm going to look for going into this next cold front.